Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Winback, and on today's episode of Pokemon Unite, we're going to be playing Mamoswine again, and this is far and away a better game than the last time we played. So, it's a YouTube video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe your heart out, and let's talk about Little Swinub, Pillow Swine, and Mamoswine, some of the more fun defenders in the entire game because of all this built-in CC that we've got. We're actually going to be taking um, Icicle Crash and Earthquake. I wanted to say Avalanche. <laughs> actually, is it Avalanche? I'm pretty sure it's Earthquake. I'm 99% sure it's Earthquake. But uh, those two abilities I find are more fun. Um, ultimately because High Horsepower, even though it couples very well with Icicle Crash, is wonky and I don't like the way that it works. So Earthquake is much more um, consistent for me, which is why that we're going to be, uh, which is why we're taking it in addition to Icicle Crash, which is, for all intents and purposes, a little bit of a, an unwieldy ability itself. But I do like it, so we're going to make that happen as I get all the shit out of my eyeballs. Ah, no, I, it's it. Ah, I'm not supposed to swear in the beginning of YouTube videos. Which is so contrary to my own stuff. Ooh, got the stun. Looks like Wiggly may be trying to hold the Squirtle off from keeping me from turning in. It looks like we're just going to get the berry for free and eventually KO the Squirtle as is. So it doesn't really matter. Man. At what point do you stop punching the rock and saying, ow, my hand hurts. Hmm. Anyway, um, Swinub is actually one of the best defenders in the game uh, early on. Definitely up there with Squirtle in the amount of utility that they have. So, Tackle is a, a very, very, very strong stun. Uh, and Dash works just like Headbutt for Squirtle. Um... And as such, I mean, you can set up a lot, a lot of strong stuff. Uh, not only that, but on top of uh, the stun that you get from Tackle, your passive, every boosted attack that you get, uh, will sl No, it'll actually just straight up freeze people, uh, which is basically a stun. Oh, Machoke just absolutely getting run over as I go steal the berry that he was trying to, <laughs> trying to get. Um... So every boosted attack freezes people, your tackle stuns people and moves you. And then, um, before we got Icicle Crash, we had the, uh... I don't even remember what it's called. It's three little ice balls that you throw out that will, uh, again, freeze people if they hit. So, all that being said, there is just a lot of CC baked into Mamoswine's kit. And you should be 100% ready for that to happen all the time because it just does not stop. Uh, now, did I mention the items? I don't think I did. Let's talk about the items really quick because uh, they are a little bit... Well, you may not be expecting them. Uh, so we've got Buddy Barrier. <laughs> just kidding. You should be expecting that in every video. Uh, Buddy Barrier. Score Shield. Again, I know. Really, just... Yeah. Uh, Buddy Barrier, Score Shield, and thirdly, we are going to be taking Focus Band. So we've got two very big HP items, one item that is going to help us get a lot of HP back when we're low, and then we've got all the utility of Buddy Barrier and Score Shield baked in. So basically, we can just run in, CC people hard, and then usually walk away. Uh, and given that our Unite move is fairly large and unstoppable in and of itself, it is, uh, it's kind of easy to just stop people with Mammo. So, this build especially feels really strong because you can engage from range, you can decide whether or not you want to go in or stay out, or be the, the Mammo that you always knew that you could be, uh, or not. You could just stay safely behind a wall and, and be happy. Okay, so I'm facing downwards. I'm aiming downwards, and the game is still like, now nah, you're gonna, you're gonna earthquake backwards. You're gonna get this gore fish over here instead of the one in front, and that's ridiculous. So, still dealing with 
control issues all the way into the ether, but dodging that Machamp ultimate with the eject button from his nightmares. Can we get him? I think we actually got the, uh, the boosted frozen attack while he was in the bush, so he got stuck hard. Oh no, we've been yawned on. Time to rip the ultimate, stomp around, but Snorlax has also popped their ultimate, so there's nothing that we can do to knock him up any further unless they continue chasing the Greninja. Buddy, you can't keep walking forward. I've got stuns for days. Hmm. Mamo is, um, is a defender that I honestly have slept on a little bit. Uh, he, everything about this kit is just like CC heavy and it feels, I don't know why I jumped out to the middle. I wanted to jump to the top. I guess the game didn't recognize that. That's okay. I can't expect a video game to be using my brain uh, to signal what it's... Wow, Wigglytuff just absolutely stealing the Rotom from whoever the fuck else was up there. Or maybe she was the only one up there the whole time. Hmm. Was I saying? I was saying something. I've forgotten. <sighs> but now you can see the, the combo coming down with the Icicle Crash and the Earthquake. Uh, you just rip the Icicle Crash first. And then you can see if that's hitting people, you jump in, smash them with the earthquake. And then if the icicle crash hasn't exploded yet, you can auto with a boosted auto attack and then blow up the icicle crash to do big damage and big stunts. Uh, it is really, really cool the way that these abilities work together. I can't save you any more than that, buddy. Garchomp turning, oh no, not Garchomp, Greninja turning in 50 and the bottom side of the map. Um, but yeah, your uh, your auto attacks or high horsepower will detonate um, Icicle Crash. I don't know if Earthquake does it. It doesn't necessarily say it in the tooltip. Um, but it will at least, uh, Earthquake will at least get you close enough for your autos to do it. Even though from what I can see here so far, it looks like it does. I don't want to use my ultimate yet because, you know, it's almost the two minute mark coming up. I'd rather save it for the Zapdos pit which will uh, inevitably be the make or break for this game, even though the enemy team has lost all of their goalposts. But there it is. It has to, right? It just has to. Because any time Icicle Crash goes down and Earthquake goes in, the Icicle explodes. I mean, the evidence appears to be there. So. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if we mentioned it or not for the, the Unite move, but um, the, the Stompies make you completely unstoppable and they knock up on the third hit while dealing damage on the first two. Oh, buddy that's gotta feel bad just getting squished by the behemoth that is Manos one mm. um there's another thing oh right the passive the passive for Mammoth swine um if you hit ice abilities under in a friendly goal zone it's going to increase the amount of time that it takes for the enemy team to turn in. There it is. The icicle goes down. The earthquake goes down. But Blastoise was unstoppable. So we've got to rip our unstoppable ult to dodge any knockups. And now, hopefully, our team will get on the... Uh, oop, oop. Here's, this is two people dead right here, right? I... Please? All right. Well, at least they're not in the Zapdos pit, right? Now they have to run back. We're just going to grab a berry and meet them there while our team cleans up everybody in the actual pit. Thank the heavens. Icicle Crash on the pit itself. Gotta just zone the enemy team again. There's the Zapdos done holding Snorlax in place for us. We're getting the unstoppable from the Blissey. Not the Blissey, the um, Wigglytuff, the character that I literally just did a video on. I don't even know if we're going to get there in time. Yes, the enemy team surrenders because they know it is futile. Probably should have should have surrendered, I don't know, like 20 years ago. But um, 96 points. Wow. That's Memo Swine in a nutshell, though. Extremely, extremely fun character. Don't let the points scored concern you. You won't be doing a lot of that with Memo Swine until the end of the game, unless the enemy team gives up. So, hugely, hugely effective character. Really fun combo, really fun abilities, really fun ultimate. Everything about this, this big boy is, is good.
And that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.